This is part 9 of my InShot video series. If you'd like to watch the other videos to get caught up, keep an eye out for the YouTube card on screen later in the video. This playlist will also be available in the video description down below. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you're looking for technology tips, tricks, and tutorials, you've come to the right place. If you find this video helpful, subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. Let's add some music to a video. Open the InShot app, tap video, and then tap new. Select the video footage that you want to import. Tap it. Tap the check mark in the bottom right corner and the video will load into the app. This is the video that we're going to add music to. Tap the music note and then tap tracks. Tap featured. These tracks are free and can be used as long as you give credit to the artist. Scroll through the list of featured albums. You can add music from iTunes and sound effects in this way. Be sure that you have permission to use any music or effects that you add. Choose an album. Select a track. Listen to it. And then tap use. You can use any of the featured tracks without fear of copyright infringement as long as you give the artist credit. Tap the copy button to copy the artist information to your clipboard so you can paste it into your YouTube video description. The track is now loaded into the video. Scroll to the end of the video to make sure that the pink bar covers the entire video. As you can see, my video is longer than the music track. This is no problem. Just add the track a second time. Tap the music note and move the playhead to the position where the first music ends. Select the same track. The second track will be placed right next to the first. Scroll to the end of the video to see where the second track ends. The music will immediately stop once the end of the video footage is reached. If you'd like to end the music at the end of the video footage, Tap on the pink bar. Use the slider at the top to adjust the end position of the track. This may take several tries to get right. You can also adjust the volume and fade the music in and out. Tap the pink bar to continue adjusting the end position of the track. Tap the check mark to check the position. Repeat the process until you've got it just right. To save the video, tap the check mark, and then tap the share icon, and tap save. Don't lock your screen or switch to another app while this is happening. If you do, the video will not save properly. This process may take some time depending on the length of your video. Once the rendering process finishes, the video will be saved to your camera roll. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.
If you have a problem with any part of this process, leave a comment below so I can help you. Don't forget to click that thumbs up if you liked the video. Please feel free to check out some of my other videos suggested on screen. Coming up next, I'll show you how to record a voiceover. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.